Hey everyone, my name is Kaiju Cooper, and today we are taking a look at the Transformers Rise of the Beast Voyager class Optimus Prime. Now, before we actually take a look at the figure itself, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Box for this figure looks really nice. I absolutely love all the little gray bricks and stone that they have all over the packaging to make it look like an ancient temple. And that bright green really just pops against everything. It is like Maximal's color in the movie franchise. Um, usually they had red eyes or yellow eyes, but uh, it's green now for some reason. I, I don't, I'm not complaining. It looks very good. I mean, it contrasts nicely with the other factions and it makes them more unique. So, uh, yeah. But looking at the box itself, uh, on the front you get Optimus Prime here in big, bold, black letters. Uh, you also get some Autobot logos scattered around uh, around here. Uh, the actual Transformers logo on the side outlined with some uh, red and orange. And then the actual movie logo right there. Um, nice render of Optimus Prime on the side. Voyager Class, Class of Voyager, Voyager Class A, Class of Vi Viajero. Class of Voyager, um, and very nice looking Optimus Prime image right here, uh, Autobot logo right there. Uh, looking at the front, you got him pointing at you, very nice render, I like this render a lot. Um, he does look a bit cockeyed though, he's looking in two different directions. So, On the side, cracked Autobot logo, a little green outlines and the rest of the render here, so there's that. Uh, looking at the back, product shots, there's Optimus, there's the truck mode, and that's the amount of steps. Autobot logo again, and authentic Transformers Hasbro. There is the barcode if you need it. Top of the box, Transformers Rise of the Beast, and window, no window. You just reach your hand in there and rip his head off if you want, I guess. So uh, yeah, that's it for the box. That didn't go as planned. Bringing the figure back into view, I gotta say I really like this figure. It is a um, pretty decent version of Optimus from the movie. I really like it. and. Uh, it's also a pretty decent just standalone release of an Optimus Prime figure. I definitely say if you don't have a Prime figure yet uh, that scales decently with their, their Autobots and Decepticons and whatnot, definitely pick this guy up. Uh, it's pretty good. It's nothing too crazy. The engineering is really nice and I do still like the figure a bunch, but uh, it has quite a few problems and things that they could have done better with it. But there's also a few positives too, but... It is a bit of a mixed bag. Taking a look at the sculpted detail on this figure, he does look very nice. There's tons of nice um, panels and pistons and pipes and whatnot all layered over on top of each other. And it just gives a very nice depth to this figure and makes it look much more complex than it actually is. But my main problem and a lot of people's problem with this figure is the lack of paint. Now, there is actually a lot of paint on this figure, it's just they did not utilize the paint budget that well. Now, judging off of what we saw from Voyager Rhinox here, they didn't really have too massive of a paint budget because Rhinox here has, I think, three colors, brown, silver, and gray. A little bit of green, but that's pretty much it. Plus, this is green plastic, so that doesn't really count. So, yeah. Uh, Optimus only has two plastic colors here, like, well, I guess three technically. Um, you get gray and you get red, and then translucent blue, I guess. This blue parts at the legs, both of these blue parts are painted, which I have no problem with, except when you look at him from the back, he's got like no blue on him. It's just gray from the waist down, which sucks. Um, the new Bayverse Opti I mean, the new Optimus Prime design was, you know, praised more because it's more accurate and more colorful. It's not as gray and metallic-y, but here it's kind of just the same thing over again. I mean, the whole leg is gray. The thighs, the crotch even, that's understandable. But I mean, he is missing those little yellow stripes. Like I said, I just don't think they utilize the paint budget that well. Like the black... Uh, crotch tip thing that he has here i feel like this should have been put on the sides instead and then just add a little strip of yellow instead of putting it on the front which is so weird so stupid most of the paint budget here is used on red which they already had a plastic color for although there is some nice little bits of silver that do break things up a little bit which is very good um 
but there's a ton of red painted parts like on the windows here which is understandable it's clear plastic but then randomly some different reds are just used like you may notice that that red is different from that red i don't know why it's two different kinds of red and those are both the plastic reds for some reason so yeah but uh, anyway Another complaint I have with this figure is that he has a hole that goes right through his chest. You can see that right there, uh, which isn't too big of a deal because for most angles, you can't even tell it's there. But um, yeah, I have seen people take issue with this whole crack in the chest here because they prefer it to be flat. So if you want to do that, you kind of got to push this up a little bit and then that'll allow you to close the chest and then you push it back down and hold that in place and yeah you get the flat chest but i just don't like the way that looks i prefer the way it looks like so so uh, yeah but besides that he is still a pretty decent figure i do really 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 like him uh he does have some little struts hanging off of his arms which kind of sucks but hey it could be worse there's a lot of gray on this figure but i can always paint it myself although if i do paint it it will only be touch-ups it's not like i'm gonna completely repaint the thing although i if i do end up painting him at all i'm probably gonna do that for a video so yeah that's that's details and painting do get a tiny little bit of black and red on the kneecap there which actually looks really nice i do like that so uh yeah as for articulation he is actually pretty good in that department as well uh, although you do start off with a bit of a bummer you only get a swivel at the head um, not really any up or down or anything. He can just look side to side. Uh, still get some good stuff with that. Speaking of the head, I do really, really, oh, can you focus camera, please? 4K iPhone camera, 4K my ass. Anyway, it is a very nicely sculpted head. You get all those panels on the mask. Looks great. Panels on the head. Looks great, I guess. So yeah, God, focus, what? the hell please okay uh shoulders can move for some reason they just go back and forth uh can move his actual arm out that much uh you get a full swivel rotation thingamajig um get a bend at the elbow that goes past 90 it gets blocked by the shoulder itself um so yeah that's good you get a bicep swivel and a ball joint at the hand so he can swivel his hand and ball joint also moves in. So you can do that if you want. Uh, as for the waist, you get a slight waist swivel here. Uh, pretty disappointing. That's about as far as he can turn either way, but you get an upper um, chest swivel, I guess. So use that in tandem with the lower waist swivel and you can still get some good poses with that. So yeah. Uh, you do actually get an ab crunch here if you untab the back, and it's a very good ab crunch. It looks a bit unnatural, but if you get him in the right pose, it works. Although, ab crunch is completely useless since he can't look upwards. So, yeah. Um, he can kick pretty far. It's decent kick. I mean, well, actually, that's, that's above average just a tiny bit. Uh, go back, same amount, and if you untab it, he can go even further which is nice uh you get a thigh swivel there uh can move out about this much these side skirts are on hinges you get a knee bend that is a little tiny bit over 90 degrees um ankles are very nicely articulated you get some up and down there and then a nice hinge joint so you can get pivot so um articulation is pretty run-of-the-mill for this guy i like it a lot uh, it could have done a little bit better, but it's nothing too crazy. I really like the articulation. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it for articulation, which I've said like five times now. Now for accessories. He comes with only one accessory. This little gun uh, it was silver on the box, but it's made out of black plastic. So that just tabs into either of his hands and he can hold it. Optimus with a gun. It's kind of small. It's not really a rifle. It's in between a rifle and a pistol. It's a gun. It does gun things. So yeah, uh, you can actually tab this on the back, store it on the back. So that just, that just goes right there. 
and yeah that's pretty much it and now for the size comparisons optimus is a pretty decently sized figure although he's tall he isn't very wide which leads to him feeling a bit small i guess um he is a voyager class figure so for comparison here is voyager class rhinox who even though he does look slightly shorter uh i will say this uh sorry let me move the legs uh although he does look shorter he does feel big pause pause okay pause calm down even though he looks shorter he is definitely feels bigger once you get him in your in your hands there's no way to make this not sound weird he just feels larger oh my god he's you get what i mean he just feels more bulbous to handle i'm just gonna stop now but yeah this guy feels smaller when you actually get him in hand this guy feel, i'm just gonna stop talking next size comparison here he is next to wheeljack and they scale pretty decently uh nothing too horrible they look good next to each other so yeah um here he is next to the massive gigantic studio series scourge and his head his head just fell off hold on technical difficulties here's scourge he's way taller he's like towers over him oh my god there will be a review on this guy eventually I'm just kind of too lazy to film it so there's scourge he's pretty tall uh here he is next to cheetor so yeah Decently sized. Not sure if that's how it was in the movie since you only really see Cheetor on screen for like five seconds. Here's Nightbird. She is slightly taller. I modified her waist slightly, uh, but only a smidge taller. Not even like a full inch, maybe a centimeter taller. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the size comparisons. Here's Optimus in truck mode, looks really good. Uh, truck mode feels a lot more colorful because everything is kind of just compacted into one place. So there's just a cube of color right here. Uh, you get some blue on the back. And, uh, yeah, besides that, the back of the truck is pretty much gray. Uh, store the gun right there, facing into where, I guess, it blasts Optimus brains out through the front of the truck. So, I just prefer to have it facing this way. You can have it face either way. So uh, yeah, this truck mode is pretty decent. I got a couple complaints, but for the most part, it is really good. Um, first off, the gas cans on the side are square and flat, which is pretty darn weird. Uh, it's also got a bit of a bulky truck bed, although I will say this, at least it's flat. Um, the Studio Series figure has a very big truck bed that's like all messed up and mangled. Um, the other thing I gotta say is the bull bar isn't very accentuated here. In fact, you can't even tell he has a bull bar. Actually, I'm not sure if this even does have a bull bar. This could just be a normal truck for all I know. It's barely there. You see, it bulges out just ever so slightly. Um, he's got red headlights for some reason. They're painted, too. I don't know why they didn't just have this be blue. I'd rather have it be blue than red. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for the truck mode. Uh, yeah. Uh, the main reason I got this guy was because I was afraid I'm probably not going to be able to find the uh, Target exclusive Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime because that thing is literally impossible to find. I mean, it's not out yet, but it's going to be. You know it, and then it's going to be marked up for absurd prices on eBay and literally everything else. Oh my god, it looks like the truck has eyes. He's staring at you. Anyway, uh, very nice smokestacks here these i don't know what these are but they jut off the back and that makes me uncomfortable uh it's not too kibbly except for this whole thing it's, 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 you can kind of see into the back of the truck see his little hands but nothing too crazy underside actually looks pretty clean those are obviously legs but like i said nothing too crazy so yeah that's pretty much it for the truck mode and he fell over again so let's do some quick size comparisons to get this over with here is Scourge, who is even taller now. Oh my. Uh, Rhinox. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do those two. I'm too lazy to do the others. Okay, fine with the machine war. 
cheetah. Jesus. All right. So yeah, uh, that's it for vehicle mode. This is a pretty decent figure. It's very enjoyable and above all, it's a very fun toy and a very good Optimus Prime. Uh, but if you got to choose between Studio Series and the Sky, I'd say go with Studio Series. Um, it's just, you probably won't get a choice because Studio Series is just gone everywhere. I was very lucky to find this guy. I was at my uh, local Walmart. Actually, it wasn't very local. It was like 40 minutes away. And I just was looking through the cardboard stands and they didn't have anything. They didn't have anything uh, on the shelves either. And I just happened to look in the cardboard display stands and I saw him, his beautiful shimmering head, like a light in the darkness. And I just, just snatched him. So that was pretty cool. I was able to find this guy. Uh, get him if you're an Optimus Prime completionist, um, and also get him if you need a Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime, because chances are almost 100% likely you won't be able to find the target one. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment. I always forget to say that. And uh, oh, forgot to rate this figure. That's very stupid of me. I give this guy an 8 out of 10. So yeah. That's the rating. Do all those things I said, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.